described as a Dickensian situation. You've got children sent from areas like London, far away from their friends, from their families and from their social workers to areas like Thanet, partly because property prices are so cheap, allowing children's homes to be set up along the coast here, often without a great deal of scrutiny. Let's talk now to the local MP, Laura Sands. Now, Michael Gove is describing the situation as indefensible, but what in reality is going to change? Oh, I think quite some significant things. We've been campaigning uh, for these measures and now we're going to have a much more greater scrutiny about the location of children's homes. Um, they can't be placed in areas where there is sort of high crime, where these young people are vulnerable. And so it's going to very, very much um, focus on location. Uh, and we talking of location, you yourself know of, for example, a street where you've got children's homes right alongside registered sex offenders living there. Absolutely. And I took Michael Gove actually through one of these streets and actually explained to him what sort of vulnerability we're, we're pet placing these young people in. So he's got a very, very clear idea. And that's why we're so pleased that he's come forward with these proposals and that we'll be able to take them forward. OK, thank you very much for joining us. Well, more details are going to be released later this afternoon. But the message from Michael Gove is to the children's homes that you're going to be placed under far greater scrutiny where you set up and what you're doing. Thanks, Simon.